coming uh, to, to celebrate our launch with us, I'm really pleased to introduce um, uh, Susan Troupe, uh, who is the current measure, member of Parliament for North, uh, London North Centre and is the Parliamentary Secretary for Status of Women. So we're really happy to have you here. I've got some notes on you. <laughs> so by way of introduction, Susan has lived and worked in London for over 30 years, many of which she has committed to ser serving and supporting the London community. Her leadership and strong commitment to London North Centre have also been witnessed through her tireless volunteer initiatives. Just before uh, we started today, she was, she was talking with quite a, a lot of passion about the kind of work she's doing in, in her community. These have included spearheading campaigns which have raised uh, proceeds for Hutton House and the Special Olympics. Her Think Pink business campaign has also helped raise contributions for breast cancer research. So we're honoured to have Susan here tonight to formally announce the status of Women Canada's funding for gender-based analysis, um, which is, of course, the main reason for our celebration. Please welcome Susan. Thank you, Cheryl. It's, it's an honour for me to be here. I always love being at announcements where I'm giving money out. I do that a lot in London, so I've never done one in Toronto, so this is, this is great for me. Honoured guests, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Honourable Rana Ambrose, Minister of Public Works and Government Ser Services and Minister for Status of Women, I want to begin by wishing everyone a happy International Women's Day. Today, Canadian women, men, girls and boys, join the international community in celebrating women, peace and human rights. I can't think of a better time to announce an important new project that will result in improved services to help women and girls who are new to Canada to prosper in the Metro Toronto area. The Government of Canada is continuing to work closely with its many partners to improve the lives of women and girls in Canada. Through Status of Women Canada, our government has nearly doubled funding to the women's program, bringing it at $19 million to its highest level ever. We have focused this funding support in three priority areas, advancing women in leadership and decision-making roles, enhancing women's economic security and prosperity, and addressing violence against women and girls. At the same time, the economy remains our government's top priority. In the last budget, we put in place the next phase of Canada's economic action plan. It includes bold steps to support economic growth and job creation, priority areas that today's project addresses. On behalf of the Government of Canada, I'm pleased to announce funding of $389,298 to the Skills for Change of Metro Toronto for its 36-month project, Gender Consideration When Developing Programming for Immigrant Women. In the first of a series of projects under the new Immigrant Women in Leadership Initiative, Skills for Change will carry out a review of its services to women and girls who are new to Canada. The organization will use its findings to empower the women and girl who use their services to participate in the workforce and to take on leadership and decision-making roles in Canadian society. For almost 30 years, Skills for Change of Metro Toronto has been welcoming newcomers to Canada. From its first successful pilot project for women in 1983, Skills for Change has evolved into a high-profile, respected community organization that provides a range of accelerated programs for immigrants from all parts of the world. Its success stories are legion. Its expertise and wealth of practical experience make it the ideal organization to carry out this challenging new project. Our government is pleased to support this organization, which works to ensure newcomers have every opportunity to integrate fully and to enjoy the benefits of participation in the economic, social and democratic life of Canada and we are pleased to support exciting projects like this one, which makes a difference in the lives of women and girls who are new to our country. We look forward to sharing our expertise with Skills for Change as they too apply for gender lens to their services and programs. On behalf of the Honorable Rana Ambrose, Minister of Public Works and Government Services and Minister of Stat for Status of Women, I congratulate Skills for Change of Metro Toronto for your invaluable contributions to your community. And I wish you and those you serve every success in this new project. Thank you very much. Thank you, Susan.